Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's your evil sorcerer, Emperor Ponyhof, again. Today, talking about some of the best spells for the mid to end game. Because you've been playing Mage for a while now. You've been using Rock Sling and Glintstone Pebble. But you're kind of getting bored and you want to have more cool spells. So what we got for you, and the good thing is I didn't do on my main character this quest line, is the Stars of Ruin. Very high cost spell. Very high damage as well. Then obviously we do have the Comet Azure, which is considered one of the best spells in the whole game, where you can just summon this absolute maniac laser beam and just get people annihilated. And especially if you go for the unlimited wondrous physiques FP flask that is getting a whole own video, you're good to go. Then there's Loretta's Mastery, which is like Loretta's Great Bow, but with three arrows instead of just with one. A followed up last but not least by Crystal Torn, which is the Smaller brother of the Comet Azure and less OP in my eyes. Because obviously the Comet Azure is considered a little bit OP. You summon this and you go, Ooh. Obviously you do want to have a summon that kind of protects you there. So you do want to have a bunch of soldiers standing in front of you. Uh, we're probably going to be going for Black Knife. And it's an absolute legendary summon because as a mage, you do have the problem sometimes that you do actually, with your mimic, not have someone that can tank. I mean, it does tank, but you want someone aggressive actually hounding the opponent, attacking them. So that will be a whole own guide where we are not going to be looking at the mimic tier, or we're going to be looking to get you the black knife. But today is about the selling quest line and how to get these spells that we're talking about because it is super fun and it's super cool quest line to follow. So, timestamps in the description below. Maybe you're stuck on one step already. And don't worry, if you killed an NPC, there's always the Church of Vow. You can go back to it and you can ask for absolution. So, in case you killed Selin or in case you killed the Master of Festivals and some other shenanigans, that's okay. Just go to the Turtle Pope at the Church of Vow, which is in the Lernia Lakes, right side of the Raya Lucaria Academy. And if you talk to the statue and you do have a tier, Crystal tier? Is it called Crystal tier? Uh, it, you can do go for Absolution. I don't need Absolution right now, but I can definitely show you how to get these spells. Your journey begins with Sorcerer's Selen at the Waypoint Ruins, straight up in the very beginning. So you have here the Church of El where you start. Here's the North Lake. You know, there's the dragon in the middle. And here are the Waypoint Ruins with Sorcerer's Selen. And you can talk to her. Young she apprentice. teaches you, you sorcery. To become a sorcerer. Now. Shall we start learning? Sure. So he can teach you already some spells, but they're not really interesting. I mean, this is Glintstone Stars and they're the beginning of the cool spell that I showed you. Now, heads up, in order to actually complete this quest line, you do need to have beaten Radon. If you have problems with Radon, check out the video on it. We have it uploaded already telling you how to kill Radon with the summons. So we do have the sorceress here. Now, step one is actually finding the Comet Azure. You're actually going to begin your journey at the Abandoned Coffin. The Abandoned Coffin is something you arrive after doing the Magma Worm, in case you actually went for the Underground Pass. And then you begin here at the Abandoned Coffin. Because we need to travel once around the map a little bit to find Master Azure lying on the ground, granting us his spell. And later alongside the quest line, you can actually also get his armor that you saw my mage character in the beginning. So we're at the abandoned coffin and now we're going to be riding all our way until we get to these runes on top. So up here around these runes on top. That is our number one goal. If you have never been here before, this is the route you're taking in case you don't activate the ground lift in the beginning to get to the main city of Leyendale. So if you do not activate the ground lift and if you go through the underground killing the magma worm, which I highly recommend because it's kind of like a cool journey there to go below then you can go for that. And especially if you're going up here, there is also the enemy called Tibia Marina. We could kill that right now. We're not going to do it. But Tibia Marina also gives you a very cool skeletal summon spell and gives you a beast heart that you can then feed the beast monster into who gives you more spells again. Now, again, ignore that. Go past. We're now here at the bottom. You can see that we ran through the whole ruins. We're here at the bottom and you found Mount Gelmir and the Seething River. That's what it's called. Begin here. Begin here at the abandoned coffin all the way up around Seething Ruins. Now you're essentially in this crevasse. 
And this crevice has, well, seizing runes. <laughs> where, where you have to look out that you don't get blasted out of the way. And you have to go all the way through here. Plus, if you do actually have a stoneward key, there's the seeth water cavern that you could fight your way through. Heads up, it's plenty annoying. <laughs> but it's, it's plenty annoying if you want to do it. But I, I won't tell you not to. I mean, there, you see it? That's the cavern. You have the key. Go in. Do in. But again, I... I uh, don't. Do yourself a favor. Also very cool. We are heading up to a castle. And the castle has a talisman that hires fire damage. Again, if you want to skip past this, there's timestamps in the description below that straight up take you to the part of the quest line where you need to be. So don't worry about watching every single second. I'm trying to spray in some trivia as you write here. Because I see a lot of guides that are just fast forwarding, which, which is okay, frankly spoken. But I prefer to actually see the journey with my own eyes. Because this whole fast forwarding, especially when you're trying to mimic it straight away, is kind of pain. But if you have the same speed and you're just trying to do the same route and ride the same route, it makes it way easier. That's at least what I think. So now we're back here below the Volcano Manor and we're actually heading for this castle. So if you ever wondered how do you get to the castle next to Volcano Manor, there you are. That's the way. We're not going to go in. Again, there's a talisman on top that hires fire damage. So if you're going for a fire damage build, that's fantastic. And you're actually heading off to a boss area. The boss area has another magma worm for you. Fight it, don't fight it, whatever you feel like. I do actually not know if I have to kill it to get past it. So you can fight it, you cannot fight it. Choose that for yourself. But the most important thing is that you just ride past and you see this little opening. Why is there an opening? Like, like chat literally had to yell at me to tell me yes all the way around nice sneaky little pause you just go past all of them ignore this and we're ending up in the hermit's village on top of the mountain but i i think there's another way to get here but i haven't found one there's also a cool boss fight waiting for you there's a bear jumping down from the mountain that's not the boss fight by the way there's a cool boss fight waiting for you. And most importantly, there's also some graces. So you do not have to write all of this up again, which is quite cool, right? So you have the grace here. Activated. Now, just for a heads up where we are, we're here now. This is the craftsman's shack. This is where we're tending to go. This is where we started and went the way around up here <laughs> to right here. Okay. And now the last bit of this story where you then already get the Comet Azure. And you can do this very early on. I mean, you could, you could do this when you're level 50, 60 already to get the Comet Azure. The problem is that the Comet will take three spell slots. Three. I mean, I have seven right now, seven. Yeah. So that's that, you get more and more. And here's the cool boss fight. This is the queen followed with three sorcerers. And there's Master Azure. Azure. Azure? Azure. Azure. I really don't know how to pronounce him properly. Azure. Talk to the gentleman. Not very talkative. Gives you the spell straight away. Boom, chakalaka. That's fantastic. Now, straight back to selling. Waypoint Rune Sellers. That, that was simple, right? You have the grace activated. You can always port back there. And at the end of the quest line, you want to. Now you talk to Selen. You are. Shall we commence the lesson? And you can be like, oh, surprise. What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure, Azure. was a, Azure. Fun, a stern you make us both. We can speak more You can go through the dialogues yourself. If so you we're just skipping past them, right? So you don't what my exactly know what's happening. I need your help. She wants your help. Let's begin the journey together. This pleases me. You must help. And now she I asks you for a Master favor Lusanne to find Master Lusat. And this is I need him to almost him. impossible to figure out yourself. I, I was I was bamboozled. So Master Lusat uh, is supposed to be locked in Celia, the town of sorcery. So you have to actually solve the Celia quest. Okay. To solve the Celia quest line. Very important. 
There's a little riddle. There's a little mystery for you. You should be able to do that. As you then solve the Celia quest line, you get up to the church of the plague. So do the Celia quest line. Go through here. There's some portals that you have to break by lightning some statues. It's a part I'll let you figure out yourself. Also, the Celia town of sorcery does actually have the best stuff I'm using right now, which is essentially the Luzet Glintstone stuff. Yes, Luzet, the guy we're trying to rescue. Enhances power of all sources, but consumes additional FP. That one I'm actually using, and it's super powerful. And now you see this gentleman here. We kill him, and now comes the crazy part. You see this grave? Look at the grave. And then we're walking straight with that grave forward. And you end up in the endless tunnels where there's also a very cool boss fight waiting for you against three crystalline opponents. Okay. Three crystalline opponents. So you can do the boss fight, but I will show you the way to Lusad and you choose for yourself to do the boss fight. If you're here, you can hear someone mining at the other side. That's how you figure out that you have to go through. So you can hear this guy actually trying to mine. And then obviously there's a solution that there might be a way through. Now you have two ways to jump down here. You could either jump down here, but beware below you is a big monster that will try to eat you straight away. And that is this faceless horror that I really don't wish to fight right now. Because even I am completely overleveled, it would have a chance to kill me. Somber smithing stones are here. Walk up the stone. Jump over. Go on the crystal. Crystal, fall down in the lake. We're here now in the lake. And you see there, ooh, a magical prison, you say? Where we do find poor Master Lusad being locked in. Like there's no tomorrow. Talk to Master Lusad. And he gives you stars of ruin. Exactly what we've been looking for, right? So now you can't talk to him again. You can't murder him. Just leave him be. You know, he's, he's poor, poor little guy. The next part is going to be a little bit tricky because it's about Radan's castle and also the beast fight that you had there before doing Radan. I have to never do it because I've been doing the magma worm and some pre-quest. Now, if you're actually going... So but before you go back now and tell her that you found Lusad, okay? You teleport to Radan's castle. Before, after getting Lusad, before talking to her, go back to Redman Castle. Walk up here, where usually the fight would be against the two opponents. And you go straight to the Mazda Festival that has been announcing the festival and everything beforehand. You should be now situated on the throne. And he's very important for this quest line. Exhaust the dialogue I with him. I'm no longer, I have a he's no longer bound to the for it, fortress and he has something to do. And until you get this. May we meet again. Okay, may we meet again, brave champions. So now what you do is pour it back chamber outside the plaza and to make sure to actually get progress rest at the grace this is this is important you do every now and then need to rest at graces you know rest there and now now you can do the fight so if you've never been able to do this fight before finally you can actually do it because again for me for some reason this fight never existed In case you're asking, what is this? Uh, that's Melania's skill. Done. And if you wonder, what is my armor? I do actually have the same armor as them. That is a whole new video that I have to do. So now, now you get this grace. Good. The Master Festival should be gone. Very. This, this step is very important. If you have done the fight already, you should not get it bugged. So you're good to go. Now we go back to Selen's Waypoint Rune Cellar. Okay. We got Lusad. We got Azure. Azur, 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 Azur. And now we go to her. My, I have a About the request. My body, my body she tells you that she's passion. actually the imprisoned body. You know? My body is you, you, you remember? Have some... You might have you might have found this actually before. 
So she is down here. Isolated merchant's shack all, all the way in the south. And in these runes here, in the Witchbane runes, you, you might have actually found her body and you might have killed it like I did. That's why you go to the Church of Absolution to reset. And in these Witchbane runes, you're going to find her real body chained to a wall. And as I told you, this is this is quite a significant long quest line. I mean, I, I wish it wasn't, but it is what it is. You're going to be on a journey for a while, but it's fun. And there's only one part that's, or two parts that are really impossible to figure out yourself. So now you have her. My these areas some of my prior stuff. And she actually some gives you myself. her soul, guys. She gives you her soul. No inappropriate comments now. Thank you. This is a very personal moment of you ripping out her soul out of her body. This. So now comes the tricky phase. You kind of need him to appear. So he's very important for this quest line that now the guy you were talking to you do actually make him appear here. So we teleport back to the merchant's check and we rest. And I've had my trouble to actually get him to appear because of the order I did it in. So we pass time until morning. We just we just do it like the old school way, get everything done. Uh, this time after the Lusat thingy, maybe, maybe that does good for me. Uh, it, it took me a while of teleporting around. Uh, maybe you have to do the next quest step first. So if you can't make him appear for the love of God right now, then go for the next quest step and we'll check if he's there now nope i guess so if he's not there go for the next quest step which is something i really don't understand how to how how do you actually figure this out yourself you teleport up to ronnie's rise you know up here ronnie's rise where the witch ronnie is if you've never been there go there cool quest line and everything but you have to go up to Ronnie's Rise. Get the Fregata here. And now this is this is super cheesy. You ride out the window and you go for the first runes you see here. These. Okay, here. We're, we're here. We're marked. First runes you see here. And for some reason, there's a hidden chamber. And what are you looking for in this hidden chamber? It's a new body for selling. Thank you, and it's better still finally to expel. So that is now the next step. You get her. Now she wants to expel the Carrion royal family, so we can study sorcery. But her main goal is it to. Now, destroy the Carrion royal family. And in order to do this, you need to go to the Raya Lucaria library. And here comes the trick now, or the problem. You need to find the guy from the Grand Festival who is not anymore at the castle, exactly where her old body was. Because then there are summon symbols here. You don't see the summon symbols here right now. So you know you're missing that part of the quest. So we're going back again to the Waypoint Ruins. And that's why I struggled with yesterday. And it's... Suddenly he was there. Like, like it, it didn't even make sense. So I've, I've been teleporting around. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I've been resting at Graces. I've been riding up. And then suddenly he was there. I, I don't know why, what, if, if a certain amount of days has to pass until he's finally arrived. Because obviously he can't teleport. It was, it was kind of jarring. Now he's here, so do the next quest. Now he's here, uh, and he talks with well, you about how dangerous Selen is you know, and what a terrible person, you know? It, a woman, I suspect, I'm sure she's and sick. then you talk with her, I, I'm sure she, a second. and now you teleport to the Raya Lucaria library, walk out, and you will find the chance to aid Selen or not aid Selen. That's down to you. So you could aid Jaren to kill Selen, but we're aiding Selen, obviously. And when you're aiding Selen, you do have to Jaren, kill Jaren. 
of my death. Who's the witch hunter? For freeing me from my shackles. And I am afraid your work is done. Join the school. If you're asking, I'm using Melania Sword. Jaren down. Simple fine. You essentially now made her the head of the Raya Lucaria Academy. So you gave Selen a superpower trip. You get the outfit from him. Now we have to check up on her, talk to her. She's going to be like, wow, you're so amazing. Uh, if you ever become I Elden Lord, you uh, I can be your so queen. My you have your but do think of me. Of your teacher. This is not the final twist of the story, gentlemen. Okay. So here's the game. Yeah, Glintstone please. Chris. It's actually very cool. There next time. Exhaust her dialogue. If you fail, you can always... oh, don't Exhaust her dialogue all the way about Lusad. Exhaust all her dialogue. Also the Lusad dialogue. So you have to exhaust everything she has to offer until she gives you the Starlight Chart. Then you're done. Okay? So every single dialogue about everything that she knows where they are, that the bodies of the two can be brought home. Then teleport there again to the same greys and suddenly you have her back again. And hi, Selen. How, how are you doing? First, you get her crown. My eye. When she gets turned into a monstrosity, she has the shard spiral now and she has the crystal barrage. And I'll actually show you how to get the better crystal barrage because I kind of forget something about the whole Luzad fine. I mean, first and foremost, you go back to Primeval Sorcerer Azure because Prime, Primeval Sorcerer Azure, as I told you, if you go to his body, you can now loot his armor. Haha. -ha. And yes, his armor actually boosts the power of the comet. Same goes for Lusan. So we're going now back to where Lusan was. Uh, but instead of going for Lusan, you can figure that out yourself. You know, you can walk all the way again to him. I'll show you the way to the boss fight. Because the boss fight there gives you the Crystal Barrage, which is the little brother of the Azure Comet. So again, same, same cave. We're running in. But this time, instead of jumping down to Lusad's prison, I mean, you can still jump down to Lusad's prisons, then make your way up again. You know, you can get Lusad's armor. It's also very good looking. I'm wearing a mix of the blue and the green because it looks kind of awesome. So what you're going to do is we're going to walk straight over this instead of jumping down now. So we're essentially going over. jumping between the crystals back and forth and here's like a tiny little turn yep again not going down here going further and as you go further here there's a stake of maricam and that's usually already a sign that you're heading into a boss fine and you're going deeper deeper and deeper down all the crystals here ignore the snakes They're just there to waste your time Ever deeper into the tunnels. And at the end of the tunnels, you'll find a boss fight. And that boss fight is actually plenty cool. Because it's a 3v1. Little do they know, though, I brought a friend. They have a 3v1. And you remember these guys? They're actually not hard. You just have to beat them until they um, relent. You know? So one is a caster, one is a spear dude, one does the crystal barrage. This is, by the way, the crystal barrage, if you ask yourself. And the thing about these guys is you have to break their... You have to essentially break their crystalline armor to have them take damage. So at the beginning, you don't really get them down. You can execute them also very good. But then as you have their crystalline armor broken, like again, they, they, they're just... And you can literally round them and execute them over and over again. And if you see the splinters coming out of them, they are essentially broken. Now it's broken and now it's taking damage. I mean, I think this is easier with a blunt weapon. And as soon as they're broken, you do notice how easy this is, right? 
So my, my summon is just keeping them busy. Now he's, he's essentially really having them. And I usually recommend just going for the execute route on these guys. Because with the execute route, you're the safest. Because while you're executing, you can't take damage. So you're just going to be executing them to avoid them from being able to damage you in any way. Murder them. Last one here too. Walk behind him. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just so funny. I, I like this fight a lot. I don't know. It's one of my favorite ones. Due to due to like the 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 gimmick with the crystals. After defeating all of these, you do get the Crystal Torn. All three spells I've been talking about. So, ladies and gentlemen, quite a long quest line, quite a hefty thing to go through. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you liked the spells. I've been using them in the end now to actually like pretty much work my way towards the Elden Beast. So I'm missing just three bosses, I think, and I've been killing them with Crystal Torrent, the Kamiha. I've been not using the Comet Azure, and I've been using the tracking spell that I showed you in the beginning too. Also, where can you get Loretta's Super Grade Bow? That is the last one that we have to do. You have to essentially get into the Melania area. Okay, it's actually it's actually very hard. You have to get into the Melania area, and I have killed this boss already on both accounts, so I can't actually show you this boss fight. And you have to get down here. To the prominent so essentially before you get to melania you're gonna start up here at the electric canopy and you're gonna work your way into the city the good thing is you can do this in one run okay so you essentially start up here in the trees right jump over and i'll show you the way how to run there quickly because you should be able to kill that boss easy. She is not that complicated. Jump into these awful ants. Which is annoying in itself because you know how, how like, god damn annoying it can be to go through things that just body block you. So everything, everything just body blocking you. But you will prevail. You'll get through. If you get past this annoying guy who's essentially shooting bubbles at you. The problem with these bubbles is their speed, as you see. <clears throat> they start extremely slow, and then they go super fast. After you've done this, there's a ladder, almost invisible. You can also just fall down. Bottom of the ladder, straight through, activate the grace. But go further. No care. Jump. <laughs> to jump over the opponent. Always speed here. Ignore the dude. Don't get pushed. Ignore the dude. Don't get pushed. And here it's very important to actually jump too. So you see the ladder. But jump. Because you don't want to end below. Then you need to take the ladder to my right here. Let your stamina regain here. Walk past the annoying beast man. Get hit in the back. Next grace upcoming. Here, yeah, reset, definitely. To get the grace, reset in. Jump. Roll. <laughs> because you're below. And then also here, you need to jump again because else you're going to land in the land between. And no, I didn't bother killing anything here because you're so far into the game that this rabble doesn't do anything for you, essentially. Uh, go below. I did see if I could actually shortcut that on top. And here's going to be like an annoying sorcerer. That's significantly strong, but I just zoom past him. And there's another one in your back. That's why I don't want to get bothered with these two guys. And here, you're where you want to be. And then you just first try her. If I'm not mistaken, there's also to the left an elevator you can actually take up. And now let me see if I can verify that for you. To maybe save you from some pain. So 
if I'm not mistaken, there is an elevator here that you can take to the left. And if you do take this elevator, that actually brings you to the beginning graze. So you always have a shortcut to the boss. So in case you don't feel like first trying it, here you go. You're back here at the beginning grace. And then you kill her and you get the super great bow. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this guide. You got your cool new spells. Um, this was a nice pace you're looking forward to. Definitely tell me in the comments below if this is the way you preferred over just like sped up things. I mean, you do have the timestamps to jump where you would like to be. Enjoy the other videos we have to offer. See you in the next video.